This week's video is sponsored by my side cam. Have you ever been thinking to yourself, man, I have way too much money in my bank account and I have no idea what to do with it? Well, you're in luck with our new application, the Versace Money Incorporated Fund. You can give me money and you don't get any back. Let's go over the data field names for this video. So our top left and our bottom right are named MNLR1, and then our top right and bottom left are MNLR2. We also did something for the pitches where we just changed those to MNLP, respectively. Now, a few of our viewers have been asking why I am using the turret turntables to do the up and the down for the rotation rather than the pitch setting off the turret cradle advanced and yes i see you so one of the reasons is because i actually want the lasers to move but i do not want the rangefinder to move and that's going to be for a further video quick update regarding one of our scripts from the previous video so thanks to justin here I just wanted to uh, make sure that all of you guys, who if you haven't read this comment, to take the line 9 and move it up to line 8, like we have done so. Hey guys, my name is Sadie and I am Versace's cat. Welcome back to my Roblox Lua programming tutorial. Let's do an explanation on the YOLO code. As well, I am fully aware that these can be com improved and condensed. But, just like with my intermediate tutorial, we do need to understand what is going on, and also how to fully use arithmetic before we can work towards making it better. Just for our simplicity, I'm going to be also putting blue and green arrows on each line of code. The blue ones are for lines that affect rotation, aka the y-axis, and green is for pitch, aka our x-axis. Let's go into some depth on line 2 of laser 1 since every line is actually just a variation of so. So we have our standard if statement, which all of you should know by now. When true, the y-axis will decrease by two, otherwise it will go to line two. Now why do I have these redundant go-to statements? The reason is so that the script can actually not work faster than the turntable and cradle can rotate. To give an example of the order of operations, line two being true, therefore the y-axis will decrease by 2 and then go to lines 3. However, line 3 will repeat because of the else go to 3 function until the turntable has reached negative 2 from the input of the previous script. Next I'm going to go over the subtle difference between script 1 and script 2. So the arithmetic functions are inverse due to the fact that we are crossing the coordinate plane and this is only done for the rotation arithmetic and not the pitch, since the pitch does not need to cross the coordinate plane in this mathematical statement, so we can achieve our 3 by 2 grid result. Now some of you may be curious as to why I'm choosing to leave lines 18 and 19 blank, but then I leave something on line 20. So these scripts are all about timing, and in order to confirm that our turrets can reach the reset position, which is detailed on line 17, before the script fully restarts, I leave lines 18 and 19, which results in a 0.4 second delay to account for catch-up time. One additional thing, I did see there were a couple people that were asking for help in the YOLO channel of Starbase official Discord regarding some of my videos. So if you need anything clarified, this is my profile. You're more than welcome to ping me in that server, okay? Like, I'm not some fancy YouTuber. I'm just a normal person, and I'd be happy to answer some of your questions. And after all this, there we go. Your ship can now mine some larger asteroids using our grid cutting system. I wake and bake and eat take out like every day I don't fuck with no small talk I don't care what you wanted to say I interrupt the conversation
Light it up on the sofa with the homies high as what? High as fuck? That's